Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about dynamic conditional formatting which will let the end user select the values to decide when they want to display the down arrow or the up arrow based on their requirements. This was query posted by one of the user on my channel. So let's get started with this tutorial. So I have a table over here with some details like category, region, subcategory and percentage. I want to display an up arrow or the down arrow or a flat icon based on the values that we have over here. For now, this is fixed. For example, 0 to 80%, I want to display a down arrow. 80 to 100, I want to display a flat arrow. And then 100 to 120%, I want to display an up arrow. I want these values to become dynamic to be selected from a slicer so that they can be changed as per the user's requirement. So first of all, let's go to the modeling tab. Let's click on new parameters and select numeric range. Let's call this as min and let's choose this as a decimal number. My minimum value is going to be zero and my maximum value is going to be one. Remember, we are playing with percentages over here and my increment value is going to be 0.1. I'm going to click on create. So I'll have a new slicer created over here. I can move around the slider and choose the percentage that I want. And then I'm going to go here to the min table and change this to percentage and change this to zero so that I don't have any decimal values. So now I have a minimum what if parameter created. Let's create another one for max values. So I'm going to change this to max and change this to decimal number. This is going to be zero and my max value is going to be, let's say 1.2, meaning 120%. And my increment value is also going to be 0 0.1. And then I'm going to click on create. And now I have my max values as well going up till 120% and let's change this to percentage and get rid of the decimals over here. So let's go ahead and create a new measure in my sales table. I'm going to call this as conditional formatting is equals to if, if max of my percentage column, this is from my sales table, is greater than the max value that we have from the slicer if it is great if my percentage is greater than the max value then i need to display an up arrow for example let me just type in up arrow over here if max of sales percentage is greater than the minimum value is greater than minimum value then I want to display a flat icon let me just type in flat icon over here comma if it does not belong to any of these conditions it means that the, the percentage here is below the minimum value so I want the down arrow so I'm gonna say down arrow down arrow close the quotes close the bracket and press enter so now I have a measure that is created so let's add this measure and see what is happening. We're looking at the first row over here, which is at 80%. So we said 8200 needs to be a flat icon. So it's displaying flat icon. Likewise, for 75%, it is belonging to this particular group, which is between 0 to 80%, which means that we need to show a down arrow. We have down arrow over here. And for the up arrow, anything that is above 100% or the max value that we select over here, Anything above this particular value is up arrow. That is exactly what is being displayed over here. Now we need to change these to icons instead of having these text values. So how can we do that? So what you need to do is you need to go to percentage column and click on conditional formatting. And then over here, you will see something called as icons. And here you will see there are different icons that are available. Now all of these icons have some sort of a name assigned to them. Now. So to access those names, I came across a website which has all of the names of those related icons. For example, if I need an up arrow, it is which is over here, it's called triangle high. If I need a flat icon, it says triangle medium. And then if I need a down arrow, then it says triangle low. Now over here, let's go back to the measure that we created. And instead of the up arrow over here, I'm going to change this to triangle high. And my flat icon was triangle medium, triangle medium, T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E. And my down arrow was triangle low. 
So I'm going to change this to triangle row. And now when I commit to this particular measure over here, you will see that these values have changed to triangle medium, triangle low, triangle high, etc. Now we need to make one more change. So let's go click on this table over here. Let's go to percentage and go to conditional formatting and select icons over here. So on this particular dialog box, instead of rules, let's select field value. And over here, let's go to our measure that we created called as conditional formatting and let's select this and then click on OK. And now you will see that all of these icon conditional formatting has been applied to the percentage column. And we can play around the sliders over here to see if this is actually working. Let's change this to 50% and let's change this to 80%. So anything above 80% is marked as triangle high, which is displayed as a green icon over here. And anything that is between 50 to 80% is displayed as a flat icon that you can see over here. All of these are flat icons and anything below 50% have been marked with an triangle low, which is a red triangle. So this is how you can create conditional formatting and let the user choose the value so that they can display the conditional formatting on a table based on their requirements. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.